Hello, and welcome back to Dark and Rams. Getting close to the Hi. end of Mass Effect 3. Hello. The last time we were here was one hell of a mirror match. Best DLC ever. Best DLC ever, yes. And now we need to get ready to throw a fucking party. Let's see what everyone's up to over here. James. Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. Okay. Right. Garrus. When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at Silver Coast Casino over upper floor. Hopefully no, no dead arms dealers this time. <laughs> Tally, housewarming. Next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come... I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. You mean that we can call home? <laughs> Miranda, new digs. Shepard, would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. I'm in the area. Javik. Commander, I've received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Sun Silver, Stri Silver Sun Strip. Although it wasn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. <laughs> Edie, shore leave activities. Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participate in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply and we can meet at the new apartment. And from the Armax Arsenal Arena. Dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we would value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here in the Citadel, we recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our, review our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. And that is mm. unlimited money right there. Uh, yeah. I have no idea how to invite. Maybe there's something over here. No. Well, let's hit the strip. Mm -hmm. Mm. See what everyone's up to and get us some party supplies. Mm. Catalog. What do we got here? Oh boy. Decorations. How things this time on love. <laughs> For reals this time. <laughs> hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time with this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Citadel gift shop. It's just clothes. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Yeah. Came someday off a I will. Speaking of housing system, someday I will actually play through Skyrim. <laughs> no idea when, but someday. <coughs> Map. Map. Zaid's over in the arcade, apparently. Hmm. Javik's further down. And Garrus is... So let's go check in on Zaid. Apparently, the party supplies are at the bar. Yeah, I wonder what kind of supplies they're gonna be. As someone who recently saw a rendition of Macbeth, I wouldn't call Macbeth ruthless, considering he spends most of the play angsting over uh, n mur the murder. It might be a reimagining of the... Overload them, sure. 
<laughs> Very different combat styles. You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Well, you Are have Alan Sayer. Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. <laughs> Where's the kid? What do I care? <laughs> Where's the credit, Shepard? <laughs> Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? <laughs> you really want one of those plushy toys. God I'm right, I do. <laughs> okay then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners for some huh? Please. <laughs> It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. <laughs> I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Hmm. I don't know. The claw sounds fu kind of funny. <laughs> Why not? But this time, you play with your own damn friends. I'm man enough to pay for my own addiction, Shepard. <laughs> addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. <coughs> That's pretty fucking funny. No, pretty much all. Yeah? Surrounded by husks. Tech armor. Rock nice swarmers jumping at me. Tech armor. But against the Marauder? their shields move in real fast and then detonate. Tech armor takes them right down. You can try. Those marauders roll like you would believe. Spirits, I wish I could roll like that. What about a group? Warp field to weaken its armor. Let it close, then tech armor. Overload her barriers, fire a bit if she pulls up that defensive biotic thing. Then tech armor. Get Get right in there. <laughs> he really is a when all you have is a hammer kind of guy. <laughs> he loves to light himself up about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he's worse than vanguards. And their entire combat style is cl up close and personal. See, he is the typical <laughs> 14 Blue Mage player. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jav oh, I remember this. This is gonna Should be I good. Be worried? This is gonna be good. Enjoying your short oh leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Oh. Alright, places everyone! Quickly, quickly! You look so sad! You the backdrop! Roll cameras! And... 
This is this is terrible. You're gonna Commander love it. Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The council understands. You recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen room. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line <laughs> comes later! The Vortic Counselor will kindly <laughs> refrain from further Vortic interruptions! Vortic Counselor! I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Protean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. <laughs> Think of the children. We're caught in a Blasto you movie. Say, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Protean, no like you. <laughs> <laughs> this one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Protean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I can't decide which one is, is more appropriate. <coughs> I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. <coughs> Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! <laughs> you're lying. Say you're lying. He'll die now! Oh no! The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorta Scott. Not this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. <laughs> May we go now, Commander? Strike the sack. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> That's so stupid. I told you it was gonna be uh, a thing. <sighs> and this one still wishes he was frozen in the refrigerator. What kind of fossil were they on? Just remember, that was supposed to be the seventh Blasto movie. There's been six others, and they all succeeded well yeah. enough to warrant another. Apparently. Scary thought, I know. Mm -hmm. Party supplies! Wow, that's cheap. <coughs> Alright then. Let's see how well Garrus fares. Oh. 
Shepper. So what do Turians usually do with the time off? <laughs> Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. <laughs> I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun. <laughs> I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Mm. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> and... Mm. Oh, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but <laughs> decent. Garrus. Oh. Oh. Charmer. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. <laughs> Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. That's a lot easier to understand, huh? Yeah. Garrus can't flirt. Is on the other side. Let's take a look at the arena. No funny business. Like that's <coughs> Kick a little bit of ass. Hey, Get a little bit of money. Of course I Lens. I thought you could meet me down on the strip. I'd go from there. Anything you want to do. Just name it. Do you want to go where? I get the feeling he's fucking whipped. High scores. Arya Talok, no surprise. Mm. Barla Vaughn. He's a Volus. Okay. The best equipment money can buy, huh? Fair enough. Bray. Hey, yeah, Bray, one of that's yes. Arya's lieutenant. Bailey, C sec got our C sec buddy. Herc kick her sorry ass from one end of the citadel to the other. Oof. Matriarch Athea. What then? Liara's mom, if I remember correctly, or dad, ah. if you will. Right. Bernard Plum, don't know who that is. Al Jelani. What's that again? Don't punch the reporter in the face. <coughs> Okay, then she's been training. Yeah, of course, we don't know how much 2,000 is worth. I mean, we know that the top is just over 5,000, so. New player. Me, new player. Well, we already know what game that is. Easy. We're not playing that game today. It, it's like the little game where you have three cups and you sl slip something onto them and mix them up. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. Yeah, I. I too easy to rig, especially on a digital board. Yeah. <laughs> Infirmary. Yeah, you'd need one of those here. Yeah. Hmm, nice looking at more. Token shop. For getting rewards when you kick ass. Hmm. <coughs> Ally license. 
allow the, all of them to fight alongside you. Oh my. Not all at once. Obviously. That would be awesome. Modifier, yeah. no medi gel. Oof. Oof, in the. And then gold. Mirror match. <laughs> Fight enemies with different powers based on Shepard's combat ability. <laughs> Collector combat set. That's a hot hmm. note, mate. Yeah, that's supposed to be one of the armors you can win. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, Cerberus, uh, Cerberus Firebrand armor or something like that. I don't know hmm. the names, don't ask me. I don't know. It's been a hot minute since I've done anything with the uh, arena. Yeah, but you know, might as well show it off once. Oh, absolutely. It's not like we're gonna really go any the infinite money. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Right, let's see if we can top the scores. What do we got here? New athletes can challenge the Cerberus and get enemy sets at foot soldier level. Finally, a, a reason to use sabotage. <clears throat> Completing any match awards bronze, silver, or gold prizes depending on point totals. Redeemable at the arena store. Death. Foot soldiers, because that's all that's available. Score modifiers, none. Allies. Uh, the next match will be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. Oh. All right then. Let's go knock some heads. Wait here. Lord. Uses state-of-the-art weapon simulators to produce an exciting near combat experience. Though weapon impacts are, in reality, just mild electrical feedback or firm taps from internal mass effect fields, the game itself is as complex as any real encounter. <coughs> if you finish under five minutes, there's a bonus. Bonus capture objectives appear. Kill streak bonuses. Nothing too complicated. Yeah. Let's see how many points you can get to. Are you better than Ariety Lok? Uh, probably not. I'm not queen bitch of the universe. Yeah, so you know, you don't have access to all of the modifiers and stuff, so. Yeah. This would probably help too. All right then. Let's go knock some heads. Yeah, and then we can party. Party. No, he's also nice. Though. Oh, this is about to get ugly. One. Round one. Kill streak. Three. That's it, then. Get a vantage point. Oh, Tally has already hacked him. <laughs> Can't kill streak when I can't see him. Three. Round one is over. 
Bonus. Five, four, three, two, one. Round two. Shoop. Hack, damn it. I decidedly do not appreciate that. Come here. <laughs> Come here. The cover's too thick. I can't get it. Can uh oh. Did I just. Wow. That was. That was embarrassing. Yes. With a bit too overconfident there, huh? Just a little bit. It happens. Move, Garrus. Three, two, one. Final round. Rocket Trooper. Hack. Fight amongst yourselves. Got it. Sweet. Oh, hadn't seen one of you in a long time. Yay, you won. And well, um, you got more score than the record than the reporter. Yeah, final score three thousand. Two minutes. Yeah, I'm sure you get better scores with, you know, higher difficulties and stuff. Yeah. Still want the minimum requirement for the gold token. The fact that uh, you actually need to do worse to get the license to get your allies. And to get the gold ones, you need to like eat, beat up Arya Tilon okay. handily. Okay, you can oh, just convert okay, to so, bronze. Okay. 
which I shall do. Because Jack. Yeah, also Rex. Grunt. That too. And yes, you Rex. Say yes, you get Jacob instead. Wait, fuck, I missed. Oh well, Jacob too. Right, shall we see what they've done, what Jack and uh, Grunt can do in this game? Sure. <laughs> oh, hang on. Back out. Mm -hmm. It's updated. James is on the list now. <coughs> and Barlavon's outdone Arya now. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay, <then. coughs> yeah, now they have even higher scores. So now Part they get the easy team. Yeah, I don't care. Blasto fan seventeen four eighty five. This one's on you. Uh, it's on you. This one's as your rise on the. It is certain you did not beat this one's score through legitimate play. No human has done so without illicit performance enhancers. This one knows how you have avoided detection. Your medi gel contains blood oxygenators to combat fatigue. This one thinks if you entered a match without medi gel. You would get a metaphorical foot cover covering lodged in your posterior. This one dares you to enter the simulator with such a restriction. Otherwise, it will tell its acquaintances you are a, cons a consumable flightless bird. Uh huh. Okay then. See you, Engineering Club. Geth on the blast blasteroid map. I can do that. Fun. Hello from Katoy Ward. Big fan, blah blah blah. Try harder, but try not to give my consumers alcohol poisoning. <laughs> yeah. Da downing shots when you grab a bonus objective. That is funny. Hmm. Number one. This one just knows your appearance on the leaderboards and wish to offer its congratulations. It advises that success in combat sports can bring out an enthusiastic fan base. Do not worry about them. Most are quite harmless. Most, huh? Blasteroid. Geth. Still only have foot soldiers available. Have to unlock elites and super elites. Now then. Jack, Grunt. <laughs> this is Any going to be a. This is going to be a volatile team. Yup. <coughs> Concussive <laughs> shot, incendiary, fortification, grenade, and berserker. I just dropped my glasses. There they are. No, I shouldn't do that. I don't need them for this. It's just... Oh, crap. And maxed. Yeah. Jack. Shockwave, pull, warp, warp ammo. Subject zero. Okay, the rest of it can be automatic. Because hmm. warp ammo. Blast them already, who are already lifted by products for damage and weaken armor of grounded targets. And that gives it to all of us. Fun. Because I already know it automatically get made grunts incendiary ammo get damage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. I forgot to set their weapons. Eh, it's fine. It's yeah, just Geth. I'm sure it will be fun. It's just Geth. Oh, and they're all grouped up. Round 
something. Five, four, what the hell is this? Yeah, when Grunt killed one, two of them in one hit. Head down. Six, Ow. I don't appreciate that, motherfucker. Where'd you go? Eight, nine. Round two is a maximum kill streak. Yes. <laughs> Five, four, Give me that sweet bonus. Three, two, one. Final round. You, hide amongst yourselves. Uh, bomber. I hate bombers. Where'd it go? Where is it? There it is, right in front of me. Yes. Hey, you improved your skull out. Don't patronize me. I was just congratulating you. <laughs> Total score, 3600. This match brought to you by Elfell Ashland Energy. We power, we provide. Could you imagine trying to fight with that little uh, drone just hovering with your score and off to the side? Yeah, it's a fun little th uh, side thing. Yep. But we have a party to throw. That we do. And you know, people to invite to our house. Yep. A little bit, I mean, what? What? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need to stop by the pharmacy first to get some antibiotics. Yeah, probably already. Wait, no, it's not, it's over there. Well done, darling. Shut up. Nope. Listen, my unit did more did more time doing war games than orienteering at Fort McClellan. And even when we did orienteering stuff, I was not the unit leader. Well, you're still better than Doc at that. Oof. And no, I am not in the military. I've just done a lot of military stuff. I fucking wish. Sort of. I mean, nowadays, you never really. Nowadays, you're not too sure about it. I was about to say. <coughs> Invite up, send invitations. Liara, night off. Thought it'd be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have a particular anything in particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and decide from there. Steve, now we've got a little downtime on the Citadel. I want to share something with you. I'm taking a shuttle down to Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. We can do that one later. Invite Let's up. Invite Abby first. Invite. Priorities, you know. Priorities. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never... How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Fair enough. It's movie night. <laughs> You 
watch this a lot with the lovers from two different worlds. <laughs> Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh, we can activate sing along mode. <laughs> This is adorable. <laughs> it's no Sinfo gear, but that's adorable. I have no idea must be... you were so into this. Well, you get the folk where I'm not going to lead into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross species romance? <laughs> cute. Yep. Very, very cute. Yay. Yeah, I think she always d does the uh, movie. But... That is the sing-along version is definitely for the romance. Yeah. <coughs> Everyone with a pretty li b bass picture, and then there's Miranda. Gotta have the action pose. Of course. I mean, she's accepted that she's not perfect, but that doesn't stop her trying. <laughs> mm, can't blame her. Humanity is perfection, even Miranda, though it's beyond attainable. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. I'll fix me something while you're back there, would you? <laughs> sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lillian. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Yeah? Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. <laughs> not wrong. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. <coughs> That's a shame. <laughs> Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. <laughs> hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. I describe it as engaging rather than dangerous. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> trust me. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? 
I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy <laughs> life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. <laughs> Man. I'd say she's probably had the most character development out of almost everyone. <laughs> Perhaps. A long way from... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Interesting time at angle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a long way from, you know... What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? Played that much. Oh, God. Let's see what Edie wants to get up to. Human rituals, huh? I'm sure she could get a few out of Joker. Yeah, come on. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jack has lent me his credit chip on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Well, obviously yeah. that. Of course. Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. <laughs> Uh... Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... Valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy <laughs> centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? Starting to get used to <laughs> Not what I was expecting. It helps I've, that these DLCs, I haven't done them much, so I don't remember them all too well. Yeah, still kind of cool. Yeah, it just means I get surprised by things. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, yeah you might want to not try it back. To bankrupt to Joker with his own gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's Vega got for us? Hey, Loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, <laughs> would you, James? Me? No. Never. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
nice view. But this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know, together? <laughs> yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, is she, <laughs> you know, under that suit, do Corians have... Have... Uh, never mind. I don't really want to know. <laughs> so did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. That's a nice one. Yeah. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? <laughs> Fair enough, exactly. I guess. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway. 100%. That's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is going to be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No way. <laughs> he found his favorite toy. <laughs> He was going to leave. <laughs> oh man, this is sweet. <laughs> now, I bet you're wondering, what is that interactable for? Well, clearly to hang from. Pull up bar. Yeah, exactly. Some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, uh, this should be good. We can actually keep this going long enough to beat it. <laughs> Question is, are we going to sit here for a hunt over 180 pull ups? <laughs> Got a ways to go, Maybe. my friend. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go through that, honestly. <laughs> Mass Effect episode 40-something. Pull-ups. <laughs> I would be... Nah. It's, it's nice. Ah, you were just getting started. I can I always start again. I'll make a Maybe separate make a separate save just for that. Good. That just is make an extra episode. Sixty-seven. Yeah, bonus episode. Pull-ups. <laughs> sure. Let's. Right. Down, right. That episode sixty-seven. Not save sixty-seven. Okay. <coughs> All right, Liara. James just punching the punching bag in the background. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize we had a piano. Yep. Commander. <laughs> to left. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather. A commander to <laughs> save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Isn't there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. 
I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. All right. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. <laughs> I am a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? That's nice. Yeah. If you're just digitally playing, people's fine not. Yep. And Liara just stayed to work here. Might as well. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes. Thank you, Glyph. Oh. Let's go check on Esteban first. Don't know if he'll yeah. move don't know if he'll move once the party starts. Oh, uh, yeah. Where's Steve? That's where he is, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Where's Steve at? Right here. I don't know. <coughs> Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. But there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah. Here, feel this. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, motherfucker. <laughs> that, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Yes. Show me. Sure. <laughs> Remember, that thing flies like a brick. You see? Doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> when you're Fair enough. With weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. I do agree with the maybe Joker, but Joker has to use, you know, he's got to stay on the big ship. Yeah. Also, Joker's only technically gotten us to ground once, and it was a very uh, interesting landing. Specifically, nose diving right at Saren. <laughs> and even then, he didn't land. He just kind of yeeted us in the Mako out of the hangar. Yeah, you know, the Normandy is his spot. Yes. Doesn't look right anywhere else. 
<coughs> New mail. Oh boy. Ash. Meet her at the bar. Oh boy. What a thing. Jacob. Normandy's and Drodok. Seems like perfect time to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside the arcade. Coliat. Dane's son. I was somewhat surprised to receive a calm call from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there, as well as those people who knew Normandy. Under Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part, of the part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Yes. Absolutely. <coughs> from from Steve. The Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Usaru Maestros on a Bayada Ball game. Epic. You recently acquired an apartment with Sweet Vid Screen. Coincidence? James and I don't think so. You provide the couch, we provide the refreshments. You just let us know. <coughs> okay then. C-Sec. Official input required. Uh-oh. Report for 2843, um, whatever. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report <laughs> a CSEC officer on patrol at a silver sun strip. <laughs> okay, the, this will be too easy. This is too important. And I remember this one. Oh, dude, I remember this one. Like, I know we have a party to do and stuff, but, uh, Grunt. <laughs> what has Grunt gotten himself into this time? Ash is at the bar. Jacob is there. So a C-Suck officer somewhere in between. Yeah, should be right there, don't you? Yep, there he is. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. <laughs> All right. What's it gonna be? <laughs> the noodle store. Oh, so, boy. Great. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. <laughs> Why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospitals seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway. <laughs> it's not his birthday. Rogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. <laughs> the CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. 
Come on, Shepard, keep up. <laughs> right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Grant. Didn't he say he hated the noodles? Something like that. <laughs> Amazing. So are we gonna are we gonna, are we gonna tell Grant he's been he's been he's been a bad Krogan? Are we gonna make some shit up? <laughs> I mean, this is a guy has literally been listening to us right behind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, just, just tell him to make a mess. You already confessed to everything. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I will say I've heard this version, and Shepard just turns around and is like, uh, "This Krogan is involved in a secret Spectre operation, Operation uh, Viper." Just starts making shit up on the fly. And they see Zagoff, so he very clearly is not buying it, but he's like, whatever. Just sign here. Run. you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little <laughs> spicy. You're my hero, friend. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Careful not to laugh too hard. Ah, oh, I love grunts. <laughs> How are the noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> like, that's all he has to say about it. Spicy. You know, after he was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> on fire, sprayed with riot foam, and his only comment about noodles was spicy. Must have been some spicy ass noodles. All right, Ash. So, what are you wanting to settle? Do I have a bar? Is it but a, a bar? Thanks. Yeah. Not a second of options. Ready to see who's the real specter and who's the pretender? You talking to me? <laughs> Whatever you say, Williams. Line them up. So we're gonna wipe the floor with her, right? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Of course. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, <coughs> game over. This shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry, as pretending you sound. Next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. <laughs> I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Ancient history. You know, I expected better. I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves? At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. <laughs> Ooh. That's, uh... Boom! Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Uh, you may have to. This was a good idea. Yeah, I was. You ready for round two? Bring it on. <laughs> this bartender is getting very concerned. Hey, he can pay uh, one. Friend doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Man. 
Rain check? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about round two? <laughs> like now about round two. Oh. We didn't get round two. What can I get for you? I'm surprised he doesn't have anything to say about that incident. Yeah. Well, I suppose mothers can't fit can't fix everything. Nurse, I don't see any other Batarians in Vorcha in here. Yeah, like, they just, they just how, showed up. How'd they even get in here? Uh, not sure. I mean, I guess they're not specifically, you know, prohibited, but... Yeah, I guess. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R, you? Exactly, same thing. Hey, Jacob, I'm out of credit. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Sure. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> this is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. <laughs> No pressure, Shepard. These people are already idolized. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh-oh. I don't know how to play this. None of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Oh, you got? Come on, come on, come on! Oh, 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 I... Yes. I did fuck you up. You got? Oh, you gotta charge it up. Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. Careful, Shepard. Don't break a hit. This is just why I'm just clicking. Nice one. See, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. And that's how it's done, kids. You couldn't just let me win just once. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. See, I could have let you win, but then you talk talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's everyone. For now. You'll try to the environment. More. You'll go to mine. Probably. Yeah, we haven't got breaks yet. <laughs> Out of the way. We have a party to throw. We have a race to meet. Probably. Hopefully. Here's a new message. God damn it. I... Alright, who's up to what well, now? How long have we been at this one episode? Uh, a <laughs> while. I just want to throw Oh no! Oh no. It's been a long time since you spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that. I don't know. 
but that's where you'll find me. Could you call me, please, when you got a chance? I would love to talk to you. Samara, I overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there's any way I can give assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call. And Miranda. Sure, why not? No ranks. That's disappointing. Okay, so... Call mom. Oh boy. Well, we better have a chat with mom. Yeah. Call mom. Should we tell him we have a girlfriend? Hannah Shepard here. Hi, mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I just want you to know that I am proud of you, son. So proud. Thanks, Mom. I have to go. I know. Be safe. Please. Yeah, about that. Goodbye, sweetheart. Be safe. Safe. Yeah, I can't really do the whole safe part, but thanks. Will be alive, does that count? Oh yeah, that one's kind of important, isn't it? Yeah. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. But the Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I labeled Thane with is assassin. When we covered each other in firefights, that makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around, in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Colyat, do you, uh...
was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. He said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. About what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet, to then enough. I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valor has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. That's gonna be pain. Yep. Well then, let us be in pain.
Goliath has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Goliath. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Oh. Oh, pain. Pain, 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 pain. Uh, no. Mm. No Peko. Well, there's still a couple more to go. But we've been at this for a while now. Yes, I do suppose the party will have to wait. Eh, we'll just have to throw a bit of a party next time after we recover from pain. Yeah. Later. Bye.